There's just one more thing you've got to worry about as the world moves toward RFID everything. Digital pickpockets. Here hackers show just how easily your credit card information can be stolen from thin air in seconds. It's a practice known as data skimming that allows criminals to use RFID readers to harvest bank details from cards that use wave and pay radio technology. RFID cards transmit bank details via their own radio signal, so criminals standing just six inches away are able to harvest bank details using RFID readers or even apps that are downloaded to their phones. If a reader or RFID app enabled smartphone is within range, hackers can pick up on that wireless signal as it's transmitted when the card is being used to buy a product. That information can then be used to replicate the card. Now the fact that the readers aren't able to get the three digit security code off the back of your credit card, that can sort of help, but you'll notice that that security code isn't really necessary for most purchases. And the danger here is that it's estimated that nearly 70% of cards will soon be vulnerable to digital pickpocketing. Now there are ways to protect your information right now. You can wrap the card in tin foil or you can also pick up a specially lined wallet like those that we sell at the InfoWars store. Not only are they gonna stop RFID identity theft, but also cell phone tracking and eavesdropping. But what's the contingency plan when these RFID chips are gonna be embedded under our skin? Google CEO Eric Schmidt is basically foaming at the mouth just talking about this technology becoming intrinsic. We've already reported about a company in Sweden who is requiring its employees to get RFID chips just so they can make photocopies or enter and exit the building. But these embedded RFID implants will contain a lot more information than just your banking data. Of course, they'll have your social security number as well as your private health and criminal history. They'll be used to track and monitor all of your movements. So of course, this is information that's very vital to not only hackers, but also government agencies. Isn't it kind of ironic to think that in the future, we're all probably gonna be wearing tinfoil hats just to protect our privacy.